It's James here from Pen Pal Bots. Quincy, the artist robot. You can see it right here next to me. I'm going to share some tips with you how to get the most out of your robot and how to set it up properly the first time. It took me a little bit of trial and error because there is a certain trick you need to do to get the pen just right. Let me show you. Magnetized arms, very strong magnets. So all you need to do is simply clip, clip. And they're quite strong. Those magnets are really, they really grab on and that locks into place then. Okay. Now let me show you when you turn Quincy on. It will then sort of flex the arms left and right. Can you help me to set up the pen? Press any button to go up when you are ready. Now this is where I recommend you have lots of scrap paper because it will take a few tries to get this right. Here's the marker. Take the lid off. And these arms do have a little bit of flex, see? They flex a little bit. So it tells you to just drop the pen in until it touches the paper. I hold the pen very lightly here and then simply screw the, the bolt in to hold the pen in place. And Quincy said, press any button to continue when you're done. So we'll just press the middle button. Okay, let's start our trip. Let's try the, uh, the fox. And I want you to pay attention to the marker and see if it's actually making a nice solid mark. Nice to meet you. Let's learn how to draw a fox together today. First, let's begin by drawing a small curve for the top of the fox's head. Now look at that. Did you see? It didn't even touch the paper at all. So that should have drawn a line then. Either side of the curve, add an ear to either side of this curve and shape with a long line coming from the bottom right. So let's turn that off again. So, and now it will flex the arms left and right. We'll leave the marker in. And Quincy will ask me to... Okay. So what we need to do is to loosen up the screw. So I'm going to hold my finger on top of the pen, undo the screw, and then I'll lift up the arm a little bit, maybe two millimeters, and then I'll screw that back in into place. Now let's try that. Nice to meet you. Let's learn how to draw a box together today. Okay, let's go. Next button. First, let's begin by drawing a small curve for the top of the fox's head. Did you see that? Now it's now it's contacting the paper quite nicely. But either side of the curve, add an ear to either side of this curve. Excellent. To draw the right ear, you will need to draw an end shape with a long line coming from the bottom right. But I'm pretty happy with that with that line now. Let's begin. Let's begin by drawing the C on its side. This will be the start of the zebra's head and mouth. Let me show you. I'll just move Quincy's arm. See this part here? It's quite faint. So again, I'm going to hold the pen, unscrew, and let the pen drop down maybe another half millimeter, just a little bit. As I said, trial and error, okay? So let's try again. Let's try that height. At the end of the long straight line, add a curve and another long straight line. Okay. This is the back of the zebra's head. The back of the zebra's head. So let's keep trying. And uh, like I said, scrap paper is great for this. I just want to make sure that- Now, um, let's add some hair. Yeah. Starting from the bottom of the straight line, right corner, 
draw a wave line all the way up to the top of the zebra's head. If you can see now, that's the sort of line thickness that you want. This kind of darkness, okay? I'm happy with the pen height now. So what I do, once you are happy with the, with the right height, you can put away your scrap paper and use some fresh paper and do a proper drawing. Another tip I'll give you guys is that once I'm happy with the pen height, I leave it in the arm. I simply tilt the robot back, put the cap on like this, and then push down on the top and click the lid is on. You can turn Quincy off the storage. You can even take the arms off with the, with the pen at the right height and put them on again later and it will be at the correct height for you. The short version of this video, it does take a little bit of trial and error to get the pen at the correct height in the holder, okay? So don't give up straight away. If the line is too thin or if it isn't touching the paper at all, just, just stop and adjust the height of the pen and then restart and use some scrap paper until it's just right. So let's go through um, the entire startup sequence. I like to keep the pen in. Once I get that height just right, I like to keep the pen locked in to the holder here, okay? When you do power her on, she will do the flex left and right. And the flex will be with the pen down connecting with the paper. So you don't want Quincy to draw on your desk or your paper. So what I recommend you do is tilt the robot back like this, turn the power on. Power on. Power on. And it will go left and right, stretching. Make sure there's no obstacles there. Tip, you help me to set up the pen. Press any button to go up when you are ready. Well, we are ready because the pen is already set up. So at that stage, you're still holding it off the paper. You press this, and it will lift okay, up. Okay, let's start our trip. And you pop off the cap, set it down, and you're ready to go. And that pen is at the perfect height which we set up last time. And then you can just choose a card or a story, and away you go. Nice to meet you. So I'm done for now. I'm going to put the cap back on, push down gently, and turn the power off. I hope you enjoyed that short introduction to Quincy, and I hope that you really enjoy playing with Quincy with your kids or just by yourself. Okay, thanks a lot, and see you next time in the next video. Bye bye.